Got a, a little melon here. It's called a frog skin melon. Mm. It's legit, man. That's fucking legit. Oh. oh. When you get good fruit, man, it's hard to stop, eh? Mm. That's fucking quality. Quality fruit, man. Best fruit in the world. Hard to find, but the best fruit in the world. I'm sorry. I was wrong. How can I make it better? These are three little sentences you can say that can transform your life. I'm sorry. I was wrong. How can I make it better? I was wrong. I'm sorry. How can I make it better? This is, you know, I'm. How can I make it better? I'm sorry. I was wrong. So many people are afraid to say that. Why is that? Why are so many people afraid to admit failure or admit that wrong or say sorry? Because in today's society, I just, we just rode back from Riverton, Mentori, and we rode back from northern suburbs. And out northern suburbs, it's pretty cutthroat. It's pretty like, it's just, you know, it's a place you go get stabbed and just ready to fucking kick car doors in and shit. It's not really a, a friendly place. There's a lot of friendly people out there, but there's a little bit of redneck town. A bit of vibes out there in the northern suburbs. If you say, I'm sorry, you're a bitch, you're a pussy, you're a wussy. You know, so people never apologize in that sort of tough environment. Like, oh, if you admit you, if you admit you, you're sorry. People like step on you, they're gonna bash you. You're a pussy. You're fucking. You just gotta, you gotta muscle on, mate. You gotta stab cunt, screw your fucking heart, cunt. <laughs> well, that shit, you know. And then you go to the eastern suburbs where I live. It's all like toffee. It's upmarket. It's fucking rich money, lawyers, doctors. You know, all that stuff, dentists and stuff, my business, corporate. And in that, in that world, if you say you're sorry, often people think you're a pussy. In business, they're not going to bash you, but they'll think, hmm, I can take advantage of this person financially. They've admitted fault. They've admitted fault. That's litigation or whatever. You know, so it's a different mentality. So in society, we get, as children, we get punished when we own up to the truth. I stole some cookies. I spilled that in the carpet. Bam! You get punished for being honest. You know, so you learn that as an early age to lie. And then as adults, we have opinions or we do things. And people see us do it, so we can't deny we did it. Let's have it. Let's say, okay, green. I'm going to make green hats. And people can see it's green logo, Team Vegan. And let's say the spelling's wrong. And I'm like, the spelling's not wrong. Everyone can see it's wrong. But I'm like, it's not fucking wrong. You're wrong. That's at fault. We don't want to admit that because if we admit we're wrong, we'll get punished as well or we'll get disrespected. So we, we just lie. Or we just, even, if, even when it's just blatantly, obviously it's wrong, we just say it's not wrong. You're wrong. You know, so one of my parts of my success in my life to get me where I am today is admitting fault and having no issues, spider, no issues about admitting publicly or crying on camera or getting angry on camera or having fun on camera or just sharing the ups and downs of my life. I have no issues about that. Totally exposing my emotions and thoughts. No issues. I'm not scared of financial repercussions. I'm not scared of violent or you know conflict or whatever. I'm not scared of that. I'm not scared to be laughed at or ridiculed or. And become meme material, <laughs> you know, I'm not scared at all, and to live with that authenticity of like total freedom of my emotions and thoughts, sharing publicly, take it or leave it, it's fantastic, it's just like weight off my shoulders, so I would say that that's a big tip, one of the best tips I could give to people is admit if you're wrong, and tell people I'm sorry, I'm wrong, how can I make it better, and if anyone wants, if anybody wants to take advantage of that, you know straight away, there are people you don't want in your life. So let your honesty be a filter. Let your apologies be a filter. Just, you know, if people see that as submissive and bitchy and weak, then that's good because you identify those people in your life, quickly distance yourself from those people and no longer be used or mooched or whatever from those people. So I've been wrong with so many things in my life. You know, I've been wrong in relationships about people. I've been, I said, this person's legit. I turned out shit. I used to tell people they didn't need combat cranks, that you just gotta get stronger, you just gotta harden up, it's gotta get tougher. I used to be wrong about um, steroids. I used to say steroids are really expensive, really hard to get. You have to be a good doctor, but that's not, that's not true. You get them easy to get, cheap, cheap as fuck. I used to say that, um, what I used to say? I used to say, you know, no pain, no gain. Just got to train through an injury. Just got to harden up, mate. Just got to fucking do it, you know? That was back in the 90s, I used to say that. Just when you used to watch Rocky and Eye of the Tiger, all that bullshit. You know, you don't train for injuries, you just get fucked up then you just get worse. So those people I said, go through it, I'm sorry I'm wrong. Luckily I didn't have much of a voice back then, so no one, not many people listened to me. But you would be careful on the internet, if you're gonna, if you're gonna like reach out and give people advice, you need to make sure you got the fucking best legit information out there. And if you do fuck up, apologize and admit you're wrong. 
Otherwise, you shouldn't be given advice. You shouldn't put yourself in a position of responsibility if you're gonna give the wrong stuff or never admit fault. Oh, what else can I say about that one? Never, you know, just let your honesty, let everything, let your ability, you know, so many people get scared of just doing a one take video because they might have pause what to think, what to say because they're scared of ridicule. They have to do jump cuts and jump cuts and hey guys, I love you, like and just appeal to the reptile brain because the neocortex people will just be like, this is just fake shit. So many people are scared of being real because they're scared of rejection. Again, another inbuilt in our DNA. You get rejected in the jungle, you're tiger food. Let's wrap it up then. Uh, never fear being honest. Actually, that's probably a lie because you look what happened to Lance Armstrong. <laughs> Lance Armstrong could have kept the lie going and used to be making lots of money today, but he probably lives a lot easier now. But in terms of people you really care about, all right, honesty, you know, honesty in your community, be honest, show integrity, and people who take advantage of that, distance yourself. Never be afraid to apologize, say, I'm sorry, I'm wrong, how can I make it better? If people want to take advantage of that, then you know straight away. You know, you know straight away who's your mate and who's just a user. You know, who's just a, a panty sniffer or, you know, who's just there to get some money or fame off you or, or whatever, for whatever reason they're around. You'll know quickly, you know, people give you forgiveness or not. People ridicule you for being honest and apologizing. Then you quickly know. So never be afraid to apologize. Never be afraid to say, I'm sorry. Never be afraid to tell legit people the truth. And if they use that against you, then you know straight away they were never legit. They were just shit.